Hello friends and welcome to my channel. If you will watch this video, you will see what this uh, joke of amplifier is broken. Here it says uh, SPL 700. In uh, his manual he says 700 watts. But as you can see, 700 watts it's only a joke because doesn't it's obvious doesn't have 700 watts with this finals so i took down the pcb with the final amplifier and i must say that it was very easy to took off and uh, if uh, we see here you can see some uh, resistors that are burn and this uh, final it's obviously burn And this PCB is easy to repair because under each part it's uh, written his value. And this will be easier for us. And uh, I will uh, replace this, sm this small finals with these finals which are uh, will give us more current this will not increase the power of the amplifier but uh, will be more reliable and uh, there are chances that will not burn again now let's begin so i check all the parts from the bed channel and i took it down the parts are here. Both finals are burned. This is the power resistor in the emitter of the finals. One was uh, burned, one was not burned. But I decided to replace both because that one that was not burned was uh, also in uh, harsh conditions these are the pre-finals are in short these are the pre-pre-finals are also short these are three resistor it's obviously that is burned and that one uh, shows good but uh, it's also burned so I will uh, replace that part. I change all the smoke parts. Now all the parts here on the PCB are good. Before I put it to the main supply, I put to these uh, two power supplies on uh, 30 volts and s very small amp limiting because if there is uh, something else burn here do not uh, burn the pieces again and i checked uh, with uh, plus minus 30 volts there are no uh, other faults here and uh, after that I put some small uh, fuses like uh, one amp to this plus minus original and I put it to the original transformer to check if everything is okay. Let's Okay, I 
I didn't have a double power supply, it's more simple with a double power supply. So, as you can see, I replace all the smoke parts and initially I wanted to replace this small uh, transistors with bigger transistors but uh, I did I can't because these are too big and there is not enough space here and I had to replace with the originals now I will put this uh, on the case and check again with fuses I put some fuses here and here let's check so I put the PCB in uh, original place I put all the wires here on this uh, stick I put uh, a melody and now let's check one channel other channel as you can hear both works but uh, potentiometer is not working now left and right volume potentiometer are not working but this uh, amplifier part is good what I don't like it's uh, the cooler I think you can hear it. Uh, the cooler is on full speed and makes a lot of noise. And I will put a thermal control, thermal fan control for this uh, cooler. Now, uh, first part is ready. Now I have to take this off and check why this uh, volume potentiometer is not working I took this uh, PCB off this is the PCB from the front panel and I replaced two potentiometers with the new ones now I will mount everything back together I put uh, everything together and now the volume button is working. And other channel. Now everything is ok, final uh, amplifier is perfect, now I just have to repair this because this, will, this part is broken. I have to repair this and I have to solve the noise for the cooler, you can hear it, it's very loud. So I put everything together, I uh, mounted this little module, that's the fan control, here is the sensor, 
because uh, I said it, uh, the cooler was too nosy and I want to make it silent and the cooler will start only over 30 degrees. This is the schematic of the cooler, but add, I will make the fan control. I will make a special video about this. So I must tell you that even the producer said the power is uh, 350 watts on each channel. As you can see, with these small finals and this small transformer couldn't be. The supply voltage is plus, plus minus uh, 40 volts and that uh, will give us uh, maximum 50 watts on 8 ohm load. So the real power is 50 watts instead of 350 watts like the producer said. Now let's make the final test. You will see when I will start the amplifier, the cooler will start for a few seconds for test. This is one channel. Now let's test the other channel. I hope that you like this video. If you have any questions, please write in your in the comments. And if you find it helpful, please like and subscribe for the algorithm. See you in next video. Bye.